If you're an online store owner running your store on Shopify, you have probably seen those order confirmation emails that Shopify sends to all of your customers. Not a lot of merchants know that you can actually customize those emails. Normally they look pretty boring and standard, but in this tutorial, I will show you how to customize both the text, copy, and the design of those emails so that they're look and sound on brand for your brand. If you're new to this channel, my name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency. We help seven and eight figure e-commerce brands maximize their revenue from email and SMS. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel because this helps us a ton in continuing to produce this free content for YouTube and also like this video before we move any forward. Now that you have liked the video, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, so let's find that order confirmation email and customize it so it can be in line and on brand with all of the other marketing emails that you're sending from your email marketing platform of choice. So to find this email, we need to go into settings first. And this is a just like a, a dummy Shopify account that I have for different experiments and stuff like that. And over here, we need to find notifications right here. And on this list, you will see all of the order and shipping notifications that Shopify sends on the behalf of your store. And you'll be surprised with how many there are. You might not even know about some of them, but essentially this is the place where you can customize all of them at once, not at once, one by one, but they're all here. So we're interested in the order and the confirmation email in this particular case, but again, you can use this tutorial to customize all of the other emails and notifications that you have. So this is your order confirmation email. And if you open it, this is what it looks like. Not very customizable uh, or customization friendly. However, what I recommend doing is first of all, look at the preview and actually see what that email will look like to a customer. So very boring. Again, this is a dummy store that I have. So just the name of the company. Thank you for your purchase order number. Hey name, we're getting your order ready to be shipped. We will notify you when it has been sent. And then the person can view their order or visit the store. And then there are all these different details. I recommend going this route. Look at this email and see what kind of text you'd like to modify. So for example, when you want to edit it to be something more fun or just say something else, thank you for your purchase. So let me copy this. I am clicking command C and then closing and then I'm clicking command F and I want to find it here. It's giving me just one result. So that headline can be edited right here. And normally don't edit anything that's between the brackets and only edit text that's in between these two different kind of tags or whatever. So thank you for purchase. Let's edit that. Bam, your order is ready. And then delete this part. And now let's go back and preview over here. Bam, <laughs> your order is ready. And then I would do the same for this text. So hi, John, like you obviously you wouldn't find John in the code there because it would be the first name code. How about this? Actually, sometimes like different punctuation marks, they're coded in a weird way. So I don't want to be looking for this text because I'm not be able I might not be able to find it when I search for it here, but I go again and I searched. There we go. Hi, customer first name. We're getting your order ready to be shipped. We will notify when it has been sent. Let's just do something fun here. Hi, Casey. We're so excited you joined the club of our super fans. Don't actually write something like this in your email. But just to demonstrate again, let's go back to preview. There you have it. Hi, John. We're so excited you joined the club of our super fans. We will notify you when you're uh, when it has been sent. Obviously, you'd need to modify this as well, but you get the point. This is where you can edit all of the text. Let's say you also wanted to modify the text that's in your button. So view your order. Let's find that text over here. View your order. There it is. Let's change that to view my order, all caps and my instead of your. Let's take a look. Yay. So I think you get the point. Basically just search for everything that you would like to be modified and then find it in the code and you can edit anything that 
is editable and that you're able to find in here. After you're done, make sure that you save your progress. And then if you wanted to edit the SMS, you can do that right here. And um, some SMS notifications can be edited, some cannot. It also depends on what kind of uh, plan you have for Shopify. And you might also be able to disable all of your SMS notifications altogether. And you do that in the checkout settings. So if you just go to settings and then go to your checkout over here, you'll be able to turn that switch on and off of whether your shoppers will also receive SMS notifications about their order. So there you go. But now let's say that you wanted to modify the look of that email as well. Remember those blue buttons? Kind of very boring. Let's see what we can do here. You need to click this customize button and that will give you access to the visual editor in Shopify. So over here, what we have is we can choose a logo. As you can see, there is no logo right now. So let's do that and ooh. Fun. I already have some stuff in here. Let's do this. And then let's click save. And then it doesn't automatically update it here. So we need to reload the page. So just click command R if you're on the Mac or just like this little button. Now it's updated and we see that the logo is here. Amazing. Now um, you can like make it bigger or smaller. Unfortunately, again, you just can't preview it in live mode, but you'll need to uh, reload the page. Let's change this accent color instead of blue. Let's try to go for this pink type of color. Something, well, yeah, let's make it bright pink. All right, let's save and then reload. Bam, sweet. There you go. And then you can go email by email. I think this is what it is. These are actually different notifications that you saw on that list. And you will see how these settings affected all of those emails. And in Shopify, you can only set uh, this once and that will affect all of the notifications you have, but at least you can easily preview all of them here and just kind of go one by one to make sure everything looks the way you want it to look. So this is when it comes to Shopify. However, if you wanted to send this particular email order notification out of Klaviyo, if you're using Klaviyo for your email marketing, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's actually pretty easy. Why would you do that is uh, mostly for brand consistency because Shopify emails and Klaviyo emails look pretty differently. So if you just, care a lot about this and you just want more freedom with how you can customize your emails, you get more of that freedom with Klaviyo. So for this, you need to be using Shopify Plus because regular Shopify users cannot turn off this order confirmation. However, if you're a Shopify Plus user, you can just email Shopify support and ask them to turn this off, which you will want to do. And then the next thing that you do is you go into Klaviyo and you go into flows and then you click create a new flow. And then over here, you just find order confirmation. And you'll see like a little Shopify tag over here. Let's call this order confirmation YouTube tutorial and click create flow. As always, you will have your flow trigger at the top. If you wanted to add any filters, you could do that here. I recommend not adding any filters because you want anybody who places an order to receive this order confirmation. And then as in any other email flow, you just click edit. And this is where the magic happens. This is where you can edit all of this, all of the language, all of the design and visuals. Um, and then as always to preview it, you just click on this preview. It will load up all of the place order events that you have in your account and you'll be able to preview an actual email. Another little hack, not a lot of people know about this, but you can email Klaviyo support and ask them to tag a specific message as transactional. They review that on the case by case basis. And if your email actually qualifies to be marked as transactional, they will do that. So what does that do? If your email is marked as transactional, it's kind of like almost a sure guarantee that that email will not go into the promotions tab. It will always go into the primary tab. Not always, but almost always. And email clients generally prioritize transactional emails because by definition, transactional emails are emails that 
carry some type of information, important information about a transaction. So they're prioritized over all of the other marketing emails. If you're worried that, hey, if I switch from Shopify to Klaviyo, my email might not get seen by my customers as much. That is the hack that you need. Just email Klaviyo support, say, hey, this is the email that I want to be marked as transactional, send them the link, and then they will do that for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also just say hi in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, type out your questions. I try to respond to everybody. And if you don't have any questions, just say hi in the comments. It really helps our team a lot to get seen and discovered on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.